This and this arm that's underneath his armpit, that's gonna be think arm underneath the armpit. That's the one that's gonna be facing up when we go here like this, and then we go here. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't even need to no, do anything no, special, didn't. right? <laughs> Feel it? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> This next technique I'm gonna show, this is really easy but effective, especially for big guys. Now, it's, uh, Alexander Karela was really good at this. It's a head and arm standing like this, so everybody in freestyle, whatever, you know, uh, to get the underhook side, a lot of times it's a good, because they're, they're trying to get rectal especially. So, I grab a hold underneath here like this, grab a hold of his back of his neck. Now, this is really key and important. My feet, especially my right foot, because I'm on this side, is gonna go in between Jay's feet here like this, okay? If I'm on the outside, this is leaving me vulnerable for Jay to head and arm throw me right here. Yeah, yeah, or the other way. Yeah because I'm on this side, so you go here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, to stop that, whatever side your head's on, use that same leg to be in the middle. And once you get a good grip on this, it's, it's bad, really bad, especially going up against a strong guy, because this kind of lock here like this, like this, all that I need to do is I just wait for him. So he moves around. And especially, this leads me to, if he starts moving his weight back, boom, snap him down to a front hand lock. If I got him here like this, I mean, it's basic, but once, once you get a hold of that grip, especially forearm on the neck, Keep that leg in the middle. It's bad, really bad. Yeah. <laughs> so Jay, quick grab him. Just so I... So, this one on the hip, mm -hmm. and this one. Grab a hold tight. Now try and keep this locked in, or try and keep it Forearm on his neck. Like that? Oh, yeah, we can do it that way. So, yeah, we'll see. It's good. Now, you go work. So, since my head is on this side, guys, my leg is going to be on this inside. So, if I go up and do like this, oh my god, yeah. Yeah. And then if I drag him down, and then a lot of times, if the guy goes here and he brings his arm all around, the other arm, yeah, keep going, keep yeah. going. Great, excellent. My legs here are still in the middle, right? Nine times out of 10, he's gonna try and grab a hold of my leg, right? Try, try and uh, with both arms. <laughs> try, try, try and, yes, yes, see that? He's got me, right guys? Pretty sure I don't. <laughs> so, if the guy doesn't like this, he's probably going to grab me really tight, right? So all that I do, try to take me down from here. All that I do, yeah, good. That's good. Now all that I do is go here, like this one. And then look what I'm in. But guys, just get used to getting this grip. Put your hips close to him. Whatever side your head is on, keep that there. And just follow your partner. Because slowly but surely, he's going to start to go down. Even if it's... And if he, if he gets his arm over, nine times out of ten, they're going to try and grab your leg and take you down. Take him for the ride. So this is like a war of attrition. It's not exposed <coughs> in the same way. No. Like if you can get this position, oh, 
<laughs> it's golden. <laughs> Hell yeah. And if the guy starts moving his, uh, where, where oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, bits of the motor. Yes. And if the, the beauty of this, if the guy starts moving his hips back and he's, because he doesn't want to be here, that's that's good. So if I grab a hold of him here like this, boom, he starts to move his hips back. He puts his head down. Snap him. You use that to snap him down to the front head, and then work whatever. So get that position. Try to get the forearm kind of like on his like collarbone, chest. And trust me, guys, if you get good at this, it is really golden. Trust me. I mean, but again, be aware of this leg. If it's on the outside of the person, you're probably gonna get arm throwed. Some people will say like, uh, oh, if I get Jay here, okay, here like this. Oh yeah, he's gonna put me in the guard. Go put me in the guard. Go ahead, good try. <laughs> That's just pressure. Nice yeah. <laughs> so, when, if you guys get good at this, it is, it's golden, trust me. And it, it's, and I, I like to use it because I'm, I'm a powerful person too, but you get that, that frame and that structure, take him down from there, or he's, if the guy starts, he doesn't want to be there, snap him down, front headlock. How is a big really dude? basic, but it is so effective. How is a big dude, but I'm not feeling it until he does that. Yes. And then, so, the, then the stars come out. So guys, think, <laughs> think here and think hip close. Closer to him, closer to him, closer to him. And eventually, I want to try whatever I need to do to get him taken down. Okay. Yeah. If you put the, a coach is putting the pressure on, that's why the guard pull doesn't work. Because I can't, my head is separate from my hips. Yes. The guard only works if I've got my hips on the boat. Yeah. And if, I, if I'm super close to, to Jay, like, like that, he, he doesn't have that ability to hop up and get right. He's literally broken here. Yeah. He's pinned, you know when we do the break chain? Yeah. He's literally broke the chain at the neck. So everything else is just kind of flopping in the breeze. Yeah. So uh, grab a new partner, try it, and just focus in on guys. Uh, okay, you can check out with so you can see. So again, guys, this, and this arm that's underneath his armpit, that's gonna be, think arm underneath the armpit, that's the one that's gonna be facing up when we go here like this. And then we go here. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't even need to <laughs> no, do anything no, special, didn't. right? <laughs> Feel that? That's good. <laughs> okay, uh, give, yeah. yes. Yeah, and, it, and again, it's like this. So if, I, if I'm here with Jay, if I'm going to bring him down to like a front headlock position, th this arm's going to be facing because I'm pulling him, right? So if I got him here, I'm not going to be able to pull him. Just think of it as that. So I'm here to shut him down. So. Think of it here, here, keep it tight and keep your head. Almost think, it's a uncomfortable, but it, but almost think like cheek to cheek. Some people that get an amount with the arm, they need to go cheek to cheek, really tight. It's not, not fun. Got Jay here, got an underhook here like this. I bring this leg in the middle here like this. Now this time Jay, if he starts to scoot his, uh, his keister back and he's, he doesn't want in, Snap him down and grab a hold. Cow catcher him and snap him down and try to grab a hold of his chin. You can see that? Boom. And that will lead to a lot of different takedowns. No, this is, you can, this works most best if the guy starts to sprag out because he doesn't want to be there. And once he starts going down, you just bring him down and sometimes you can bring him all the way down to the ground. So, one more time. So I got Jay here like this. And again, guys, as much as I can, if I can get this arm like this high, like that, and then whatever we need to do. All right, just snap them down, and it's key, guys. Try and grab a hold of that chin.